Hey, how you doing today? Coach Ryan Family from Viper. Today I've got another four exercise circuit for you that's designed to improve work capacity and build strength in the upper back. If we remember, when we're building a program after a layoff, we wanna do things that are uh, moderately easy, so nothing completely to failure. We wanna do things that improve on an individual's weaknesses, and we wanna do things that are short, okay? This is a very brief workout. It's not gonna take very long, uh, but it's gonna hammer my weaknesses. At this point right now, my upper back and shoulders are pretty weak, so I'm gonna do a lot of work for them. So this is four exercises. Now, the format of this is I'm gonna do six rounds of A1 through A4 in as quick of a time as possible. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. So the rest is gonna be auto-regulated during the workout, and I'll kinda of explain that in a minute. So we got four exercises, A1 through A4. There is a component of upper back training in every single one of these exercises to help strengthen my thoracic spine and uh, shoulders. So the first one is a yoke bar box squat. The yoke bar tries to throw me forward so it forces me to extend through the T-spine which is gonna help strengthen that area. Six reps in that. Next is the earthquake bar 30 degree incline press. The earthquake bar provides a lot of instability so the rotator cuff and upper back muscles have to stabilize um, in a very strong manner in order so that I don't lose my teeth, okay? Um, 10 reps on that. Next, standing back extension to pulley row. So we're working the full posterior chain from the head all the way down to the Achilles tendon. And we're working again with that back in the row position. And finally, a band pull apart for 20 reps. So I'm gonna do six rounds of this as fast as possible. What that means is the first time through, I might not take any rest between these exercises. I might just zip through. Second time through, I might not take any rest. By the fifth time through, I might need a minute, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe more, who knows, um, between exercises in order to um, get through with good technique. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Six rounds, it could be 25 minutes, it could be 20 minutes, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna time it. Um, I will show you some alternatives if you do not have an earthquake bar or standing back extension machine that you can incorporate into your program if you want to give this a try. All right, that's it. We will be back to wrap it up. I'm gonna show you a set of each exercise and uh, wish me luck. If you don't have a standing back extension machine to do the back extension to pulley row, you can do it freestanding on the ground. Now it hits the muscles a little bit differently. With the standing back extension machine, it's a little more in the lumbar erectors of the lower back. Doing it freestanding is gonna be a little more glutes and hamstrings, but it's still a great movement. Here's how it's gonna look. Take the low pulley, just as it's set up. You're gonna step back away from it. And then you're simply gonna put, reach your butt back for the wall behind you as you stretch. You're gonna get a good stretch in the hamstrings. Let your arms go and stretch in front and then stand up and row. Reaching back, stand up and row. Again, similar type movement. 
hits the muscles a little bit differently, but sometimes variation is good. Another thing you could do is just with dumbbells or a barbell, you could do a bent over row. So get a nice tight arch in the back, butt back, just doing bent over rows. You could do two rows and then two RDLs and then two more rows and then two more RDLs until you get the required reps done. That's just another way to do it. If you don't have an earthquake bar, you can do some other pressing movements that involve the stabilizers of the shoulder. A lot of uh, variations that I like are push-up variations on unstable surfaces. So one of the things you could do is get a Swiss ball like this. You can either put it on the ground and have your feet on the ground or put your feet on a bench if you're a little more skilled. So you're get in a position and do a push-up and lock out. And that instability is going to help train the stabilizers of the shoulder. You could also do it on a BOSU ball. Flip it upside down so the flat surface is up and do push-ups there. Another variation I like a lot is with a medicine ball. So going down on the ground, one hand on a medicine ball, do a push-up, switch, push-up, then switch hands as you go. Another option if you don't have access to an earthquake bar is you can do push-ups in gymnastics rings or in TRX handles. You got a couple options. You can put your feet on the bench and put your hands in it so that your feet are level with your hands. Or if you're not quite skilled enough yet, you can have your feet on the ground and just put your hands out here. You know, stretch down, push up, and it's, it's gonna wanna move on you a little bit, but you gotta use your shoulders to pinch and stay tight while you're doing those. Again, you're just looking for some subtle instability so the stabilizers of your shoulder and upper back have to work extra hard to control that uh, body movement. Oh, okay, that is a wrap. Short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, I completed six rounds of this in 15 minutes and 29 seconds. My butt is kicked. It was short, but I'm not so tanked that I'm not, that I, I'm just gonna take me too long to recover. A couple days, I'll be good to go again. Yoke bar squat, yoke bar box squat. You can do a freestanding squat. You don't need a yoke bar. You can use a straight bar or any other specialty bar if you want. Earthquake bar, 30 degree incline press. Again, you can use any of the variations I showed you, different destabilized push-ups, either in gymnastics rings or on a Swiss ball or hands on a medicine ball. Those will all work for options. Standing back extension to pulley row. If you don't have that, you can do it uh, bent over with dumbbells or a barbell or just freestanding with a low pulley. And finally, a band pull apart for 20 reps. Six rounds, 15 minutes, 29 seconds. Next time I repeat this workout, I'm gonna to try to beat it even faster. Um, and that's gonna be my progression as I go through it. Give it a try, see if you can beat my time. Post in the comments if you have any questions or to let me know that you beat me. I'm Coach Ryan Bailey from the Viper Pit. Uh, please hit subscribe below if you like these videos and want to see more. See you next time.